It's kind of a, a rite of wintertime is that the twins take their brand and we push it around the Midwest and we thank people for their support. Uh, a lot of different venues including here today and uh, Children's Hospital, some schools. Uh, we'll be at St. Paul tonight for the hot stove. So um, it's just good to be out. It's good to let people know how much we appreciate them. And, uh, you know, it's been a rough couple years for Twins fans. So we're, gonna, we're trying to get them encouraged and get them back on board. So going into spring training, you know, it's about a month away or so. Yes. Expectations for your coaching staff. You want to make sure that they're all on the same page as yours. Philosophy. What is your philosophy? Well, the, the good thing is that uh, some of these guys that are local, we've been getting together, you know, uh, sporadically over the past six weeks, but enough to where we're putting a plan together. Uh, they're hearing my voice, um, how I envision things going, and expectations I'll have not only from them, from other players. And uh, I get their ideas, too, because I'm still learning. I think that's part of the job. You, you keep, you know, integrating new things. So uh, I got a lot of confidence in the guys we brought on board, and I'm sure when we get down to spring training, we'll be all on the same page. You talked about the guys you brought on board, some new faces in the locker room going to spring training. Can you talk about how they might help, you know, to well, your season? Um, obviously, um, you know, we like a lot of the players that are returning. Uh, we've had some issues with our pitching in the past, so we went out and tried to supplement that area in particular. Um, Santana coming into the rotation will be a huge plus for us. And a couple of the other guys that we signed, uh, maybe not as big of names, but guys that could maybe help our overall staff, partic particularly Stoffer from uh, San Diego. And then Tori, you know, coming in. Um, it's just a really, really big personality with a really big heart and a lot of ability to play the game. And he's going to have a lot of influence on the field, off the field. So um, we like our guys, but we like the new guys. And I think to put them together and, and we're heading in the right direction. Joe Maurer, everybody keeps talking about him and your lineup and whatnot. All right. You know. You want him at bat, at, that's for sure. Right. Do you see him more of a DH or do you see him playing uh, first baseman? Well, Not at DH. Who else would you go to get in first base? Well, we're, we're going to try to uh, get Joe through the season the best we can. We always want to see his name in the lineup as many days as possible. Um, it's He'll be primarily our first baseman. I'll try to give him a blow now and then at DH. Um, but, yeah, you know, Joe, it, was, it wasn't the best year for him last year, and I think he's going to come back hungry and ready to perform. But, you know, Kenny Vargas is a guy who could play over there. We had a couple other options potentially if Joe needs a little bit of a blow. But he's going to be our everyday, our everyday guy over there. It's fun, and, and Caravan really is, is the start to our baseball season. Um, you know this, and then and then leading into Twins Fest, and then it's kind of time to get to, to Florida and, and get ready for the year. So uh, this is always uh, fun to get out and see kids and see communities and, and relate to people, interact with people, and uh, you know it, it's uh, it's a fun time of the year for us. So let's get into baseball. Certainly, last season didn't end the way that one would hope. Now we're looking forward to a new season. Can you talk to us about your expectations for yourself and your team? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're we're at a point now where where we need to to play better baseball on the field. I think we've got guys that have established themselves as major league baseball players, and and the expectations are higher for us as a team this year than, than they've been in the past. And uh, you know, I, I think with the new staff, with some of the new players we've signed. Um, we need to compete, and, and it's 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 time to, to compete, and we need to go out and get it done. Uh, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll be prepared when we get down to spring training, and, and then uh, take that into the season. So how do you think these changes that they've made in the past couple months will affect your spring training? Just going into it. I mean, it, we'll we'll find out, I guess. You know, having having a new staff, and and really, it, you know, it, it was run by Joe Vavra before he's still there. So I think you know, camp itself will be similar, but it's going to be different. I mean, we've we've had Guardy, and and you know, he was almost an extension of TK, and uh, you know, so I think uh, it, it, Paul's going to do things a little differently, and I think it will we'll see that when we get down there. But uh, we're all excited. I, I think change is good, and and so we're looking forward to the new season. Your thoughts on pitching going forward. Are you happy with what's going on right now? Yeah, I mean, we, we went and got a guy that, that it can compete in the American League, which is, is uh, you know, a, a bonus. He, he pitched one year in the National League, but the, the other, I think, seven years of his career in the American League. He was really successful uh, with Anaheim and with, with Kansas City, so that's good with Irvin. And then, and then hopefully Phil will continue to have a, you know, keep doing what he's been doing. And then, uh, and then Nalaska, we need Nalaska to pitch better. And, and I think he's going to be motivated to do a little better than he did last year. And, and uh, you know, so it, those are three guys at the front that, that are a good start. And, and then we'll see who, how it feels in behind them. I think our bullpen is good. And uh, you know, those starters getting deeper in games is only going to help us as a bullpen. And, and so hopefully we'll we'll be able to pitch better than we did in the past. We scored enough runs last year to win. We just didn't. Uh, prevent them uh, well enough so um, you know hopefully with, with the improvements and, and guys uh, working a little harder and, and, and being a little more prepared we'll, we'll be a better pitching staff this year.